Alright, morning. Okay, Saturday morning. Weather ain't that brilliant, but I thought at that time I'd done a bit of work on the Frontier stove. Um, well, what can I say about it? It's a good stove, good value for money. Big problem with it though is that they rust like anything. So, even still, this one, which I've took down to bare metal twice and sprayed it a good four or five times, it's still rusting on top. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of it, so I'm just going to leave it now and just give it a wipe down. But that's not what I'm going to deal with today. Today is the height. Now, there's a bit of complaint about the Frontier stove is that it's too high and obviously a lot of the heat is going up and you're missing a big chunk of it from the bottom so what I thought is that um, I replace the legs try and make some uh, make it about five inches lower to the ground I'm thinking about here um, and just see how it goes really it should be quite an easy process um, I've got some bits of metal here Strong. And I'm going to cut these to size. Put them on now. And give it a blast and see how, see if it's any better. Um, and we'll go from there, really. But well, yeah, we we'll just go from there. Then give it a clear out. Alright, that'll come out easy enough. Let's get the tools. There we go. So all I'm going to do is take each one off, measure them, take off the equivalent of five inches off each one, and that should give me the same level length of each of these. What these are, but five inches left, five inches less. But I'm not going to lose these. Um, if it don't work, then I've always got these to put back on, which is very easy, and I'll do a better job than them. So let's crack on and do them. That's it, as easy as that. So I'm going to be using these as the legs, obviously cut to size, and they're going to fit in there. Somewhere like that. Oh, it's a shame they won't fit in that way, but somewhere like that, I think. And uh, we'll see how that goes, but it looks like it's going to be okay. The only downside I can see from this is it's, they might be a bit wobbly, so I'll 
I might have to see if I can put a spacer in between there. Which, do you know what? I could mostly cut these in half, put two together, hopefully, and they might fit in there. But let's see, let's find another one. If we don't, I might make it fit. I mean, it's like a millimetre off. I'm just going to just tap them in a bit. Together, see, but well, we'll get to that point later. I'll right, work that one out. So, I'm saying. Maybe 10 centimetres, 100 mils, a bit more, maybe 12. Perfect, just there. There's a hole in there. Maybe that's it. I've got enough length to do it and make it higher. size and uh, on this one like the first one I've put two big nuts either side and seems to work all right same on that one on this one here so I'm just gonna try it out and see what the difference is. If it's worth it and it works better, then I'll cut the proper ones down. Just make life easier. And if you, well, I'm not gonna not say you know, I'm gonna bother selling it, be here till it just falls apart. So um just give it a blast. So here we are. It's in the sort of position it's gonna be set up as. So you're quite a bit lower to the ground now. It's, it's solid, ain't going nowhere. It's 
and get it from this angle. Um, it's actually, I think, a lot better lower like that. A lot better. I'm going to try it out now, see how it goes, and uh, see how much it feels in here, how much warmer it feels in here. That's 12 centimetres lower. Look on back. Get an idea. Another way of splitting wood, just by doing that. But it can be a bit painful sometimes. That's how you get your pencil thickness. enough there to get this thing going. I'm going to start it with this. Let me get the striker out, strike it. Do it without no chemicals, just natural wood. And uh, uh, this is dry wood, so let's see if we can get it going. It will get going, but and the attempts. Later. I'm just going to put some water on. And sit back. The only harder thing you have to find with it is obviously you have to bend down a bit further to see inside it. Um, that's the only thing I can see about it so far, but. working a bit obviously it's not going to be any difference the only thing you know, I'm hoping you're going to get a bit more heat coming up um, and obviously you get some heat from the actual flu going up as well uh, that's off heat yeah. let's see eh? if it works all right I'm just going to cut the legs down on the others 
left, it's the way I'll have it. And most of these um, TP fires or whatnot, wood stove, wood burning fires, is that is there, most of these wood burning stoves are quite low to the ground anyway. So, why not cut the legs down? So, uh, I'll get back to you later. Heat, a lot more usable heat, I think. There we go. 